Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are reviewing the seventh box to Fan Home's Street Fighter subscription. This includes issues 23, 24, 25, 26, and includes Makoto, Cody, Ibuki, and Jen. Each magazine comes with its own figurine, and we're going to be checking that out. First, we're going to take a look at each magazine and then the figurines, as that was uh, suggested by some of you, so stay tuned for that. I also would like to thank Fan Home for sending along for review. Greatly appreciate it. First up is Makoto, and here's a look at the figurine inside the box. Same standard box as previously seen, with both Ken and Ryo on either side. We're going to be taking a closer look at this figurine later on in the video. But first, let's kick off with the magazine. Good image of the character right on front there. And it goes right into the first article about the character. This includes a background about the character, the games he appeared in. And you also see a bio about the character, such as the date of birth, along with the games that, once again, he appeared in, include Street Fighter 3 and Street Fighter 4. Here's a look at all of his special moves. Halfway through is a poster, which you see here, beautifully done artwork. Next article, Street Fighter V Season 2 along with some really good images. And now this is uh, an article about Game Boy. So it's not just Street Fighter, it also covers Capcom in general, just as we've seen with previous Im uh, magazines. And the final page, the family grows, Capcom for Game Boy Color and Advance. It's a continuation. And on the right here, we have another image of Makoto. And here is a look at the back. Next up, issue 24 is Cody. And here's a look at the figurine and packaging. On the cover, we have a really nice image of Cody. And going right into the magazine, we have a description of the character, including his background, things like that. And a continuation of that. You also have a bio and a look at all the games that he's appeared in. Here's a closer look at that. The figurine is inspired from his appearance in Street Fighter Alpha 3, in case you were wondering, that prison suit. And here's a look at his skills and techniques. Halfway through, we have a poster of the character. Here's a closer look. Next article, Street Fighter V, Season 3. Next article, The Three Kingdoms, Warriors of Fate information about this game, which I do not remember, but this looks like it was a classic. And a continuation. 
The Emperor's Destiny, Before Warriors of Fate, Capcom set other titles in the world of the Three Kingdoms. On the right here, we have another image of Cody. And of course, here's a look at the back. Issue 25 is Ibuki. And here's a look at the figurine inside the box, which again, we're gonna be taking a closer look at later on in the video. The magazine includes a good image of the character. First page is information about her, including a background about her history. And we have a continuation of that, as well as a bio and the games that she has appeared in. This figurine is based on her appearance in Super Street Fighter 4. Next up is her techniques and abilities, along with some really nice images here. Halfway through, we have an image of her along with a raccoon. It's not Rocket Raccoon, it's just a, her pet raccoon or whatever. Next article, Street Fighter V Season 4 and Champion Edition. Next up, we have a look at Disney at its best, the Magical Quest Trilogy. These classic Disney games for Super Nintendo, Game Boy, are definitely memorable, especially if you were a gamer back then. And we have a continuation of that, along with some really good images. Here's a picture of her on the the right here and here's a look at the back up next is issue number 26 and you see Jen here as well as his figurine which is in the box on the cover you have a great image of Jen taking a look at the first story here this is information about the character's history And the next page, we have a continuation of that, as well as a bio and a look at multiple of the character designs, as well as the, all the games that he's appeared in, including the very first Street Fighter game. Up next is his techniques and abilities, along with some great images. Halfway through, you have a poster of the character with some great artwork. Here's a closer look. And then it goes into a article about Street Fighter in general, along with some great images. It's definitely worth the read. And now we have a look at a different article, including role playing Japanese style, the Breath of Fire saga. And a bit of a continuation on that, as well as some really nice images. Here's a look at the character on the right here. And of course, the back, we have the Street Fighter logo. Here's a look at all four figures in hand, including Makoto, Cody, Ibuki, and Jen. And here, we're going to take a closer look at these figures. Starting things off with Makoto, she comes in her off-white karate outfit with a black belt and a red undershirt which you see here she also has a yellow scarf tied around her neck and goes around the back the scarf is made of a soft plastic which is also very nicely done the outfit includes sculpted folds and it's also a smooth sculpt so there's basically no texture on her the head sculpt very nicely done which you can see here the paint apps on this one are really stellar. There's minimal bleeding, such as on the 
uh, chest right here, right into the clothes, but it is very minimal, not too bad. And of course, the bottom of the base has her name on it. Up next is Cody, who comes in his white and dark blue striped prison outfit. The clothing has a little bit of sculpted wrinkles throughout. The action pose, very nicely done, which you see here. He also has handcuffs attached with a chain that is made of soft plastic, so you can move it a little bit like that. The paint applications are pretty done, although there is a little bit of minor bleeding, such as this area right here on the back. Let's bring that in a little bit closer so you guys can see, but that will vary from figurine to figurine. The head sculpt, very nicely done, which you see here. Very no good likeness. And his hair is sculpted and painted blonde, as are his eyebrows, which you see there. The bottom of the base has his name on it, which you can see right there. Here's a closer look at Ibuki. She comes in her beige and dark brown outfit. The dark brown is bandages on her arms, wrists, and the legs, which is given a little bit of a sculpted texture. The outfit also has sculpted folds, which you can see here. The hair is made of a little bit of a soft plastic, so you can move it around a little bit. The head sculpt has a bandana wrapped around the mouth and nose, which you can see here. That's also very nicely done. And of course, the bottom of the base has her name on it. Last but not least is Jen, who comes in his purple robe, dark black pants, white and red striped shoes. The action pose, very nicely done with the finger pointing out, which you can see here. The, the clothes are sculpted with folds. And he also has a, looks like a dark brown belt around his waist, which is also very nicely painted. There's also a little bit of paint bleeding, which you can see here, such as the trim from the purple robe bled into the purple section over here, but that would vary from figurine to figurine. The head sculpt, very nicely done. That's a really stellar likeness of him. No complaint there. The hair is sculpted individually and painted. Bring that in a little bit closer so you guys can see that. And you also see the detail on the skin there. That's very nicely done. On the bottom of the base has his name on it, which you can see there. Overall, this is a fantastic box. Highly recommend you guys subscribe to Fan Home. Thank you again to Fan Home for writing for review. Greatly appreciate that. The figurines each came out great. Loving the articles in the magazine. So again, my recommendation would be to subscribe. I am Anthony Scott at ToyHappyUSA.com. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more coverage.